So we're here at the Arm Tech Con 2011. So uh, what does Synopsys do? Uh, Synopsys is an EDA and IP vendor. Our job is to make design easier for people designing chips and systems. So EDA in the Indi EDA industry, how big is Synopsys? Uh, Synopsys is the leading supplier of EDA tools and IP. Uh, with an IP uh, alone, we're the second leading supplier next to ARM, and we have complementary IP to what ARM makes in processors and uh, libraries. So that means you help chip designers uh, actually make the chips into real chips and Absolutely. also simulate before you they come Absolutely. Out? So we help them when they know what they want to make. We help them implement that in silicon and create the high-performance, low-power kind of chips they're looking for. And at the virtual level, before they even have the silicon, we help them create a full system implementation where the software designers can create their entire application on the operating system, boot it, and try it out before silicon ever exists. So your, your products are basically software that's in a computer, and people sit by the computer and they look at software? We have a number of different kinds of products. We have products that are pure software, uh, that are compilers and simulators. We also offer FPGA-based uh, prototyping platform. So again, people can create an FPGA prototype very quickly of their system before the silicon exists or before any silicon exists at all. So, uh, so there's a Cortex A15 coming out. So yeah. how is Synopsys involved in there? Yeah, Cortex A15 has actually been under development for quite a while and is in customers' hands today. Uh, there have been a number of announcements about customers who are taping out, and we're proud to have been working with the early adopters uh, on their implementations creating optimized implementations together with them on the A15 using our full tool flow, taking them from RTL all the way into silicon and taping out as well. So we have tape out success with customers already. So the industry is uh, moving very, very fast. And uh, is that thanks to you? I think thanks to ARM, thanks to our collaboration, thanks to the foundries as well. We work as a partnership between all of them. I think one of the key emphasis for ARM is the connected community, the notion that there's a whole ecosystem working together and we're part of that ecosystem helping our mutual customers get to silicon fast. So how does Syn uh, Synopsys uh, work on trying to innovate and advance things further? What's the next steps? What's the next? Well, I'll tell you what, a lot of things are incremental. And so certainly the next bigger processor, the next lower power reach, uh, the next process technology. So we have work underway at 20 nanometers and at 14 nanometers. And in the keynote today, uh, people heard about um, movement to 7 nanometers as well. So there's obviously a lot of work to do to keep that progress going. And the complexity goes up like crazy. And that means... Uh, each time, that's right. Does that mean the synopsis uh, revenue goes up as well? We hope so. We hope so. There's cer certainly a reliance, an increasing reliance on EDA and IP as the way to productively get into silicon quickly and take advantage of these new process technologies. So what happens when some uh, chip designs are delayed? Uh, do engineers work all night and use Synopsys software to fix bugs and stuff like that? Well, you know, they use tools like Synopsys tools um, to debug, to understand the source of problems, even at the silicon level and sometimes at the virtual level, even in software. We talked briefly about this notion of creating virtual prototypes. Virtual prototypes allow you to do that kind of debug before you build a silicon. So you can control and observe everything that's going on in software and hardware so that before you commit to silicon, you know you have a working system that you can commit. What is a virtual prototype? A virtual prototype is a software model of a, a system or a chip that's typically built out of a transaction level set of models. So a model for the processor, like ARM's FAST models, which we can actually resell, uh, or a full-timed model, a fast-timed model, like one we can build for a Cortex processor, which gives you some notion of timing as well as transactions. And they're very fast, so you can, for example, boot an operating system in 20 seconds. And then you can um, explore hardware at either an implemented level like RTL, or the transaction level as well. So it's a software simulation of the So it's virtual, but it's still on some kind of hardware somewhere. Right. You know, it, is it running on the x86 computer, or what is it running? On whatever kind of computing platform you're using, it's simulated. It's uh, cross-simulated then. And you might have some of it in FPGA as well. So you might have a combination of FPGA and software simulation uh, implementing that virtual platform, virtual prototype. So
So how is Synopsys involved in uh, designing the 14 nanometer and all these things that IBM sometimes talks about, like the crazy FinFETs and yeah. all that? So we have um, technology that spans uh, the silicon design spectrum from TCAD software, which helps foundries design the process all the way through the implementation of virtual prototyping we talked about. So we're already working with uh, early uh, design work at 14 nanometer. So looking forward to uh, Cortex A15 in a couple months or very soon already. It's coming so fast. Uh, there are customers who've taped out. We hope to see Silicon soon. Yeah. And uh, whatever is going to be next. We look forward to whatever's next. Absolutely.